So good morning, my name's Rock Daniels. Welcome to America Water Cooler News. So here at the AWC, we're gonna give you the latest news, weather and sports from across the country in a clear, concise manner that's gonna be just enough news to keep you informed so you can keep up with your friends as you talk around that water cooler later today. So a federal judge ruled that former Vice President Mike Pence must testify about conversations with former President Donald J. Trump leading up to the January 6th attack on the Capitol but he can decline to answer questions about his actions on that day. The ruling adds to over a dozen wins for special counsel Jack Smith in forcing witnesses to testify to the grand jury. Now, Trump's conversations with Pence before and after the insurrection are of interest to these investigators. Pence and Trump did not speak during the attack, but people in Trump's orbit reported a heated phone call where Trump insulted Pence. So the Manhattan grand jury investigating former President Donald J. Trump's involvement in the 2016 hush money payments that were paid to former adult film star Stormy Daniels is not expected to receive any additional evidence this week. The grand jury will not convene on Wednesday, but will meet on Thursday to consider a different case. Now, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has been taking several steps in recent weeks to suggest that the prosecutors are nearing a final decision on whether to seek this indictment against Trump. Now, Trump's attorneys argue that he reimbursed Cohen, who was his attorney, legally with some of his personal funds. Nashville officers Michael Colazzo and Rex Engelbert have been credited with stopping a shooting at the Christian school, and both officers are long-serving members of the Nashville Police Department. Colazzo is a Marine veteran who has served as a SWAT team paramedic, while Engelbert has been praised for his precision policing in busts that have led to arrests of two dangerous felons in the downtown Nashville area. Now, speaking after the event, National Police Associated spokesperson Betsy Brannard Smith described the officer's response as nearly perfect. Thank you so much, guys, for what you did. Former Chief of Staff to ex-Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, Roy McGrath, is wanted by the FBI and U.S. Marshals after failing to appear in court on wire fraud and embezzlement charges earlier this month. Now, the agencies are offering a $10,000 reward each for information leading to his arrest. Now, McGrath is accused of fraudulently obtaining a severance payment and falsifying documents and faced a maximum sentence of over 100 years in prison if convicted. Now, the FBI has released a wanted poster featuring photos and possible aliases for McGrath, who is considered an international flight risk. Now, a fire at a migrant detention center in Juarez, Mexico, started by a protest, has killed 38 people, according to the Mexican National Institute of Migration. The fire began when a mattress was set a fire during a demonstration by detainees who had been informed they would be deported. The INM had previously said that 40 people died in the fire. President Manuel Abarto of Mexico stated that the victims were mainly from Central America, but their names and nationalities had not yet been confirmed. Now, Dominion Voting Systems is pushing for Fox News top TV hosts to appear as witnesses before a jury in its defamation lawsuit against Fox Corp and its right-wing networks. The list includes Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Maria Bartiromo, and Janine Pereira. Dominion alleges that Fox News hosts repeatedly pushed false claims of election fraud and that its voting machines were rigged in the 2020 election. The lawsuit has been heating up recently with evidence from both sides being pushed and former Fox producer Abby Grossenberg alleging that the coercion was providing misleading testimony as part of Dominion's lawsuit. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, known for his pro-Israel stance, will visit the country and deliver a keynote speech at an event named Celebrate the Faces of Israel on April 27th. Now, this comes after DeSantis is expected to visit other U.S. states next month. Now, during his time in office, DeSantis has defended Israel, led a trade delegation, and supported state funding for Jewish school security improvements. Now, his upcoming visit is expected to draw attention amid his rising prominence 
among Republicans and conservatives and his likely presidential campaign in 2024. Now, guess what? That does it today for America's Water Cooler News. Now, my name again is Rock Daniels. I am the Bluegrass Realtor right here in Lexington, Kentucky for all your Central Kentucky real estate needs. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Please be sure hit that subscribe button so you and I can stay connected. I want you to have a wonderful day today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow right here at the AWC. Have a great day.